Hi, today I continue setting up my planners for 2022. So in the previous video, I showed how I was setting up my Hobonichi weeks, and today I'm gonna go through setting up my brand new Hobonichi Techo A6. So this is the first time I use Techo A6. I haven't uh, used this type of planner before. I was always more A5 type of girl because my handwriting tends to be big so i'm looking for notebooks that have larger pages but i also love small things and i thought it was so adorable so i um, decided to try this size of planner this year so i have some supplies here i have my trusty pencil case that has all my favorite pencils pens and markers and highlighters in it you will see it often in my videos i also have a video about what's inside of here, which you can see. Let's put it to the side. I have um, my seven pack of uh, my favorite Pilot Friction clicker pens. These are amazing. They are, this is a fine tip. They write really great, really nice and smooth, continuous and consistent ink, and they are erasable, which is amazing. As you can see, I have them in these many colors. And of course the planner itself. So I have several pieces here, which you could see in my jet pen shopping haul. But basically what I got for the planner is, let's go one by one. I got the planner itself. Since I kind of jumped on this bandwagon late, I decided to get a spring edition planner. So it starts in April. I know I'm still kind of late, but at least it's not the January start. So I didn't miss that many months. So as you can see, it's so cute and little. Uh, because this is a light cover, I decided to get a cover on the, I'm sorry, I decided to get the cover for it and it actually came um, as a set. I got them from Jet Pens and I love this one uh, because it has both of my favorite colors in it. Outside is black, so you can kind of take it with you anywhere you go and it, you know, fit for any situation and inside is this uh, shade of blue which I really love and um, I actually was looking for something blue but I figured when I'll be working in it having it open it will be I'll be looking at blue so super excited about this one and because it's fabric and I didn't want it to get dirty I also got cover on cover so it's basically just clear cover that's gonna go over this fabric one and I also got a pencil board so there are several pencil boards that I saw on jet pens and I was trying to find something that would match in color to the cover, but everything was kind of like different bright colors and I wanted something more muted colors. So I just decided to get a clear one, which is perfect because then it would match anything. <laughs> Even in the future, if I end up getting different um, covers, then I can just use this pencil board, continue using it. All right, so let's set it up. Let's open everything. So cover obviously is already open. Let me just take out the bookmarks. Super cute. I love this color. I'm just amazed in how such a small cover has so much in it. It has uh, one, two, three, four, five pockets. It has one more here, one more here. Of course, you, you have your cover uh, flap goes into here, but you can still put things in there. And then you have, I believe this is called Secretarial type of uh, pocket, this one and this one. And it has also a back cover here. Um, unfortunately, once I cover it with clear cover, it will be kind of kind of inaccessible, but then clear cover has a, a pocket opening because these guys, they just think of everything. And so it's amazing how such a little thing can have everything in it. And um, even though I also have Hobonichi weeks, I will see if I'll be able to use this one also as an everyday carry and maybe I will use it to carry my credit cards in here. All right, so the cover is already open. Let's open the actual planner. Now, if I could only find where the beginning is. <laughs> Should I do it super slowly? ASMR style. <laughs> All right, so I'll put it aside. And the planner, oh my God, look how adorable it is. I just can't. 
Uh, it comes uh, with a little booklet. So if you get the January version that's in English with the black cover, you I believe your uh, insert is also going to be in English because I got the spring version. These come only in Japanese. The booklet is in Japanese as well. It's really cute. I'm thinking I will uh, use some of these images to, um, you know, use the stickers in the, my Hobonichi in time. All right. So this is the planner itself. Super adorable. The original ones, that means it's in Japanese and these are the ones that have this uh, cream kind of cover. So, hmm. Trying to think what should I do first? Should I open the rest of the accessories and then go over the planner? Let's do that. Let me open this real quick, just so I can get rid of all the noisy plastics. It's so pristine. You know you're gonna see all the fingerprints of mine on it in time. And let's open this one as well. I believe it's here. All right. Yeah, so as you can see, there is a pocket opening. It's like a Ziploc that gives you access to the back pocket of the actual cover. All right, let's put these guys aside and take a look at the actual planner. So Hobonichi Techo A6, just like other Hobonichi planners, is made out of Tomoe River paper, which is a very, very thin paper. And because of that, they're able to fit basically a whole year worth of daily pages in this planner while being so little. And um, it is, from what I heard, is very fountain pen friendly paper, uh, but you do need to let time to dry. So when you open, you have your calendars, you have current year, last year, next year. Uh, it, everything is in Japanese. Of course, uh, numbers are, you know, your regular Arabic numerals. Uh, so you can see one is January, two is February and so on. And of course, year numbers. And then you are in a monthly uh, view and this one starts two months before the beginning of your planner. So since this is April start planner, you have February and March still. This is designed if you, one of the people, unlike me, who got planner on time. <laughs> so you kind of like getting into your planning routine before you start planning, but I am behind, but it's okay. I'll uh, figure out what to use these for. But yeah, you basically have every month. So this is February, March, April, May. And then you have every day of the month outlined here. And uh, holidays are in red and Sundays are in red. And I believe Saturdays are in uh, dark gray. So this is the rest of the year. And it will probably go a little bit into next year. Yes, yeah, so you, you have, um, it goes until May of next year. Then you have your classic monthly view where you have a month on two pages which every with every square representing a day of the month. So this is 2, 22, February, and then you have your Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. And again, your Sundays are in red and your holidays are in red. And you have the rest of the month are all together up front for ease of access. So you have here all the months up until the end of the you know 12 month period that your calendar covers so same thing goes up to me like the other one and then you have this area called turning the page and basically this is as you prepare for the year in your planner this is kind of where you can list your goals or I would be listing my word of the year which I'm still working through but I think I finally got which one I'm going with and then you can write out your plans or, you know, kind of like a big picture thoughts on the upcoming year or upcoming planning period, if you may. And then your months uh, officially start, your dailies for each month. So because this is an April start calendar, here's your April. So this is kind of like your title month page. And then inside you have page per day. So 
this is the number of the month this is the number of the day so you have april 1st and then you have moon phases for each day which i love i am all into moon phases and you know try, <laughs> trying to synchronize my life to moon phases and definitely paying attention to new moon and full moon hopefully you'll see some of those things in this planner and as you can see as you go the moon gets waxing and waning right so you you get the gist and on each page i don't know if you can see so each page is uh, made out of uh, graph paper and then you have boxes up in here for to do's or whatever you can use them for and then you have your hour stamps here so these because pages are so small these hours are three hours apart from 6 a.m to 3 a.m and they are in basically military time which is not a problem for me i grew up with that and i love that uh i've seen videos about uh english version of this and english version doesn't have this and sorry and doesn't have the timestamps only has i believe noon one so i really like this and i don't mind that you know you have instead of saying april it has uh you know kanji it's actually fun um i'm trying to to learn some of them i think it's gonna be really cool and as you keep on going each month has a tab here so the whole april will be marked with this color and when you can look here you can see where each month starts so then when you go to the following month it's going to be in this color and then if you go to this month for example july you have like this nice dark blue and then you have dark gray for august for september you have like this brownish burgundy color and so on so basically most of your planner is uh, your daily pages and what I like about this they are so small that I don't have to feel like a pressure to fill up each page because I've tried to bullet journal before in A5 and I always felt like I had to fill up the whole thing and it had to be meaningful and pretty and this small size is very friendly to you know when you're kind of just getting into that thing and you don't want to dedicate your life or do decorating pages so then as we arrive at the end of it we have some blank note pages there are not a lot of them here because it already has daily pages so you basically this is not the primary intent unlike Wix has a lot of note pages in the end this one has only some and because there are only a few uh, I will use them for some trackers not a lot um, maybe two three four trackers at, at the most i haven't decided yet which trackers i'm going to use in here and i'm um, sure you will see it in my future videos and then you have this timetable here again i haven't decided what i'm going to use this for you have some more graph paper here you have your favorites you know it can be a movie music restaurants things like that you now you can rate them with stars there are some more and then uh, my 100 Again, uh, there is a similar set of pages in weeks where I was thinking to track my 100 books read this year, but I haven't decided yet because I think I'm going to end up with more than 100 books, so I need to decide how I want to track my books. Plus, I have Stylogy A6, which is going to be my reading journal, so all the books are going to end up in there anyway. So we'll see what this is going to end up being. And there are just some uh, fun uh, sea creatures here. I imagine these are wise sayings. I uh, will use Google Translate to read each of these. This is really useful, especially for a person like me who spends most of my day in front of the computer. These are different stretches throughout the day and even stretches in bed. When you know you need a stretch, but you just don't want to get out of bed in the morning. And there are some fun foods. So just cute things like that metrics and all that list for the gift ideas for your loved ones and this is kind of cool every hobonichi techo has a, basically a serial number a unique number to it so it makes you understand that this is not just any notebook it's important right it's unique it's trackable and um, i think it's really cool all right so now let's set it up in its little cover right i'll put the pencil board aside 
I know it's like uh, working with an invisible man. I don't know if, how well you can see it on camera, but I'll be like, this is a pencil board. And you will be like, I'm not sure what she's talking about. I can't see anything. <laughs> All right, so first we're gonna set it in its little cover. Now this is gonna be a tricky part, I believe. From what I've seen, you just bend the pages, the page covers back. The snuggle is real. All right, then you do the same thing with the cover. You bend it back. You put the front into the front, back into the back. And ever so carefully and gently, you slide it in. Almost there. Yay. No planners were hurt during this process. Okay, let me adjust this real a little bit. So I noticed with my other planner with uh, Stylogy A6, whenever I have both flaps in here, sometimes the uh, cover doesn't align properly like this. I almost want to constantly like just rejig it. So I don't know, maybe I will end up taking the front cover out and have it out and only the back in. We'll see. But for now, I'm going to leave it this way. Let me put the bookmarks back in. And now we're going to put the clear cover on. So I think this is the right way. Yeah, this is the back slit. So I think we're going to end up doing the same thing. So let's put the front into the front, surprisingly. I know it's shocking, isn't it? There we go. And then we're going to bend this guy and put it in the back slits. And the cute thing about the clear cover on cover there we go the pen loop yeah so you can open this and access the back pocket yeah look how cute so nice and snugly clean and protected so the cool thing about these covers is that I can put something behind here a cute sticker family photos quotes uh, anything like that and it will you know, I will not damage the actual uh, cover inside and then I will not damage the stickers or images because they will be behind this clear cover. So that's really cool. All right, and these uh, dual pen loops. So I've seen people use either thread, same pen through both loops to keep it close, especially when it's in your bag or use two different pens. So you, for example, you have your writing pen and then your highlighting, you know, highlighter in here um, together. All right, and the pencil board, the invisible pencil board goes in here. Let's test it out. Nice. It sticks out a little bit, but it's perfect. I've seen the actual pencil boards that have a little notch here that will say today, uh, like my Kobunichi Wix has one. So then you can use it as your page marker, right? So then when you leave it here, but it's fine. I can use it either as a page marker or I can keep this pencil board in the back here let's hope it fits and it does and then when I need it I can take it out and use it all right so now that this baby is all snuggly in its covers in cover and cover and cover I want to do some pen test on the back of it so I did pen test in my Hobonichi weeks and all my Pencils and markers work beautifully. I was super happy that none of them bled or did anything weird. So since this is same paper, I don't think I will have any surprises, but I still want to test in here. Now I'm just trying to find which page would be a good one to test because obviously these have all writing on it. So I don't want to uh, use, I don't want to, you know, ruin them. If I write here and it bleeds through, then I will kind of ruin this timetable, but how about, how about we write on this page right here? Let's get our invisible pencil board. I'm sorry if you guys like totally sick of my silly jokes here. All right, so let's place it in here. All right. I'm sorry for any extra noise. Unfortunately, I live on a kind of a busy street where cars drive back and forth all the time and 
as much as I try to record during the time when it's not too noisy, it's kind of like always busy, so there is no way around it. All right, so first let's get all the pencils and pens out of my pencil bag or pouch, whatever you want to call it, and test them out. My goodness. All right, so I have a whole bunch of things in here. I have Stabilo pens here, felty pens. I love them. I love these guys so much. I can explain you. Then I have the Boss one from the same fam. I have three mild liners. So I have more mild liners, but these are my favorite because I'm, I'm really in love with Calm and Ocean kind of colors. I don't know if you can notice everything blue <laughs> around here. And uh, these were really nice. They remind me of the beach because this is like water, this is sand, and this is like a, you know, the one of those driftwood. Um, sometimes it takes on this color. So I really like this. Then I have my Pilot Precise V7. Fantastic. Really love it as well. My trusty pen. This is in 0.9, so it's really nice, soft, and dark. It's the only pencil I use because I generally used to really hate pencils because they sounded scratchy to me, but I love this guy. I have Faber-Castell Fine Point Fountain Pen here, and I have a Jetstream in, in red. All right, and of course, I have a whole bunch of friction pens. Let's begin. All right, let's title this page. I'll just use the pencil. And test page. Pencil works fine, I mean, as expected, <laughs> but it was really nice and smooth, really like that. All right, so next one, let's use the Stabilo. This one is 75, like this uh, brown coffee kind of color. And this number is, no, it's actually 75. Cute. Next one is just plain black. I actually love these more than Pygma Micron. I know they're not the same technology, but I don't know. Pygmas are too scratchy for me. I like these guys better. Please don't come after me. <laughs> and this one is 46. Very nice. This lighter blue, this one is 57. This one is a little bit darker shade. And it is 51. There we go. And let's try their older brother. <laughs> so nice. I really like it. So this one is Boss. All right, next one. So this one was uh, really wondering about because it is uh, kind of a juicy ink. So I, I want to see if it will leak through or not. So this is Pilot. Resize V7. And then my mild liners. Ah, I love this color so much. I know, like these are so similar, but you can never have too many calm colors in this crazy life of ours. So this one's like nice gray. And this one is like nice sandy brown. And we're just gonna say that these are mild liners. All right. And I know I'm actually not a fan of red because it reminds me of school years when, you know, you get marked down with red pen. <laughs> but, so this is just stream. stream and now 
Faber Castell. So this one is fine. I usually don't use it because for me it's a bit too scratchy. I like my Twisby um, medium nib better, but I tried this before and do you hear this? <laughs> it's cute. It the mixes the ink. This is fine nib. It's actually not bad. Not bad. This paper is definitely very, very smooth. Um, even for the, I mean, it looks like it's extra fine nib. Uh, it's not bad at all. And now for the finale. All right, so let's try this black one. So this one is Pilot Friction. Friction. This is really cool. Seven. And let's try like one more color just for kicks. Let's do the blue one. And this one. Friction. So it looks like it's uh, losing some ink when it writes, but it's because I haven't written with this one in a while. So all in all, all of these look good. I'm really happy. So now the ultimate, let's see on the other side, but first let me dry the ink. So I'm gonna use my very fancy blotter paper. I know, don't be jealous. My paper towel is the finest blotter paper of all. So I grew up in school, uh, we had to write with fountain pens only from first to last grade, never, never anything else. I mean, we used pencil for graphing, but that's it. And each of us always had the blotting paper in our notebook. It was like such an everyday thing. And you can literally use like paper towel or toilet paper. But I'm planning to order, you know, the proper blotting paper to have. But this one will do too. All right, let's see the other side. This is pretty good. Again, this is really good. Look at it. So first of all, there is no bleeding at all. There's a little bit of show through on mud liner, but it's a it's a highlighter and I wrote really big letters. But I mean, there is no bleed through, maybe a little bit of the boss because I went uh, over with it twice, but it's it's really nice. Like you can see, obviously, there is writing on the other side because the paper is thin, but nothing bled through, nothing like that. I don't see any feathering. Looks really good. I'm very happy with that. All right, so let's put the invisible invisible pencil board here this guy is like don't be calling me that i'm not getting in there <laughs> there we go and so now it's all nice and snuggly this is so adorable i can't wait to start using it fully and now i just need to decide what i want to keep in here so since it's still getting used to its cover i'm thinking to use one single pen in here to keep it together keep it together okay <laughs> and i'm thinking to just use uh, this guy i really like this pen so loop it through one then through another and then make sure that this clip is here and there you go voila and look black pen black cover looking good nicely together and there you have it. Hopefully you enjoyed my wrestling with this new tone of mine. I'm thinking to use this planner as my daily inspiration, daily kind of like feeling and thoughts planner. So for every day I'm thinking to write affirmations, my, you know, three things to achieve that day, three things that went well, what I'm grateful for, things like that. Just kind of like thoughts and feelings. I will see. Um, I'm sure you will see some stickers in here and some photos, some quotes, things like that. But this will be mostly, it will not be planner per se. It will be more like a reflection daily journal slash memory book, something like that. If you like these kind of videos, please like and please subscribe so we can meet again when I post the next video. Thank you for being here. You take care.